Hi and welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to be looking at Built Amber Autofoam and comparing whether it works better in a pump sprayer or a foam cannon and I kind of got this idea after listening to the Speed 6 podcast as they sort of mentioned on there using Autofoam in a pump sprayer and said it works really well and I have been trying it recently and enjoying it so I thought it'd be good to look at whether there was a massive difference in a few different categories between the two methods of application. Of course, the first thing that I wanted to look at was the cleaning ability and whether applying it with a foaming action made a difference or made it clean any better or worse than if it was just applied in a spray without any foam. So here I'm applying it to the rear of this Renault Scenic and I've gone for a 4% panel impact ratio on this car as it was reasonably dirty. I'll let them both dwell for five minutes before rinsing them down to see whether there was much of a difference. Now, I air dried both panels just to kind of see visually what they look like and I also did a swab test to kind of have a little bit more of a look at how much dirt they've lifted off there. So of course I rinsed both panels down and then had a look at how much traffic film had been lifted when the car was dry so I could get a little bit better indication as to how clean each side was. So here you can see what the panels look like before and after each application method and I also did a swab where I did the rinse only method and the snow foam and the pump sprayer methods. Personally I couldn't see a massive difference at all between the two sides and the swab test kind of confirmed that to me. Neither application method was completely effective here, I thought that it probably could have done more to be honest at a 4% panel impact ratio but the car didn't have any protection on it and it was reasonably dirty so perhaps needed something like Surfex HD to lift more of that traffic film but showed me that yeah between the two application methods I couldn't really tell much of a difference. So the next kind of thing I wanted to look at was the dwell time and to see which kind of dried out on the surface quicker whether it was a massive difference in terms of dwell time. Now I know that autofoam is a thin snow foam it's what it's kind of known for really so it doesn't have the best dwell time but I wanted to see whether you got a dramatically longer one when applying it as a foam. So on my car here I'm just using it at a 2% panel impact ratio and I've sped up the footage here of it dwelling so we can have a look at that. Here you can see the dwell time after 3 and 5 minutes on this dry panel. Now you can see that the snow foam is dwelling a lot better and the pump sprayer tends to be drying out the products a bit sooner so you're definitely going to get a better dwell time if that's what you're after by using the foam application. So I did repeat this test using a dry panel and a wet panel just so we could see if there was a massive difference. I know that some people like applying the product straight away and some prefer to rinse, so I wanted to address both aspects here. So here is a zoomed in shot after five minutes. You can of course see that the snow foam is still dwelling a little bit better. It's not drying out quite as much. Whereas, yeah, the pump spray is drying out a little bit more, but better on the wet panel than the dry panel. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to show the comparison here. So in terms of rinsing off both products, I think that there's not really much of a difference. I wanted to see whether one was more difficult to remove than the other. And yeah, I couldn't really tell much between them. Both of them rinsed off quite easily, being quite a thin product. You don't really have to spend too long rinsing it off. It doesn't foam up again when you rinse it. So yeah, both of them quick rinse and the products were gone. So of course, I also wanted to look at the concentration that you'd need to use and how much of an impact that has on the cost. Now, Built Hamber uses panel impact ratio to help you work out what you need to actually apply in your foam cannon to get the recommended concentration when it hits the panel. Now, of course, this is easier to work out when you're using a pump sprayer, but when you're using a foam cannon, it's gonna be different whether you're using different setups. Not massively, but it will make an impact. So of course, these calculations are gonna be based on my setup. But yeah, they might be a little bit different for yours. So first, starting off with the foam application, so with the 2% panel impact ratio here, I find that I need around 500ml total in the cannon to be able to cover the car comfortably. For me, a 2% panel impact ratio for 500ml is around 100ml of product to 400ml of water, which works out as 34 pence per application, as it's around sort of 17 pounds for 5 litres. The pump sprayer, on the other hand, I need slightly more to actually get around the car here. Of course, it's going to be slightly different for some people this is just what I feel I can comfortably cover a car in but for me around 800 mil is what I need in a tank to be able to get around the entire car that works out a 2% panel impact ratio is around 16 mil of product to yeah roughly 800 mil of water 
which is around five and a half pence per application. So of course that's a pretty significant difference between the two of them. But looking at around sort of 50 applications, for me personally, if I get a five litre bottle, if I use the traditional film method, whereas if I use the spray method, then yeah, looking more around sort of 300 applications. So for me, I have really actually been enjoying using Autofoam in a pump spray recently, and I think it's gonna be what I kind of lean towards more in the future, because if I'm looking for a really thick snow foam, Autofoam's not really what I'm looking for anyway. Whereas if I'm just looking for a good cleaner, it's a product that I do use quite often and applying it in a spray seems to have a similar effect, but it is a lot more cost effective. So I think at least for now, I'm gonna carry on with this method. I'd be of course very interested to hear your comments and thoughts on this. But if you have enjoyed it, it'd be brilliant if you could give it a like. Comment down below if you've got any questions and subscribe for weekly detailing videos if you're not already. So thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time.